Be the envy of your friends. Wear the sexy cosplay t-shirt. Wear it on a podcast. Wear it to convention. It's comfortable. Heck, even sleep in it. Your girlfriend will love it. You will love it. Click on the link below and get your sexy cosplay t-shirt shipped to you. Danny Trejo said one time that he went to the hole looking at three gas chamber offenses after the Cinco de Mayo riots at San Quentin in 1968. They said I threw a rock and hit the lieutenant in the head. But you know what? I did hit him in the head with the rock, but I wasn't throwing it at him. I was throwing it at a group of guys and he happened to be hit. So we all had gas chamber offenses and we were taken to the hole. And I remember saying, God, if you're there, everything you will turn out the way it's supposed to. If you're not, I'm effed. Danny Trejo, who is known by his credited stage name as Danny Trejo, is an American actor and a restaurant owner who has appeared in numerous and various Hollywood films. He has also appeared in several music videos for the American band Slayer. Danny Trejo was born on May 16th of 1944 on Temple Street in the Echo Park neighborhood of Los Angeles, California to Mexican-American parents. He is the son of Alice Riviera and, of course, Dioniso Rodriguez. Uh, though the two were unaware, they were related until the filming of Desperado. When he was 13, he moved to diverse neighborhood of Los Angeles and recalls never really experiencing racism while growing up. Years later, he purchased his childhood home and usually lived in it. Prior to his film career, Trejo worked as a labor foreman in construction and throughout the 1960s, Throughout the 1960s, Trejo was in and out of jail and prison in California. Trejo has suggested that his physical appearance contributed to his constantly getting into trouble. There are conflicting accounts of his prison chronology by one account. His final term in custody ended in 1972 by another account. He did time in a juvenile offenders camp in six California prisons between 1959 and 1969. He recalled that his last prison term was five years. While serving in San Quentin, he became a champion boxer in the prison's lightweight and welterweight divisions. And during this time, Trejo became a member of a 12-step program, which he credits with his success in overcoming a drug addiction. In 2011, he recalled they had been sober for 42 years. And of course... While Trejo was working as a youth drug counselor, a teenage patient asked for his assistance dealing with cocaine problems on the set of Runaway Train. While there, Danny Trejo was offered a job as an extra in the film Prison Scenes. Edward Bunker, himself a former convict and at the time as a well-respected crime author who was writing the screenplay for the film, recognized Trejo with whom he had done time at San Quentin. Remembering Trejo's boxing skills, Bunker offered him $320 a day to train Eric Roberts, one of the movie stars, for a boxing scene. Director liked Trejo's work and decided to offer him a small role in the film as a boxer. It has been widely misreported that Danny Trejo was actually serving time in the prison here in filming when he has been released more than a decade earlier. And since then, Danny Trejo has become a prolific actor in both films and television appearing in five or more movies per year in various genres. He has appeared in such major releases as Mark for Death and, of course, Valley of the Angels, Haunted World of El Superbisto, A Reaper, Prego Land, and Range 15. And, of course, Trejo was known for his distinctive appearance in addition to his heavily lined face scarred from cystic acne and boxing brawls. And the long hair and mustache he usually sports he has displayed the largest tattoo on his chest for many rows the tattoo depicts of a woman wearing a sombrero. Although he has often played thugs or low-life characters, he has also played sympathetic characters in films such as the Spy Kids trilogy, Bubble Boy, and of course U.S. Network TV show Monk, where art imitated life is portrayal of a convict roommate of Tony Shalab's undercover detective. Trejo also appeared on notable TV shows on season two, episode eight of Desperate Housewives, where as another good guy character, he was sent by Carlos to help Gabriel deal with the grief over losing her unborn baby. He, he voiced the character of Enrique on The King of the Hill. He also made guest appearances 
as a DEA cartel drug informant in the noted as series Breaking Bad. Trail shared his journey from convict to movie star with the KTTV in Los Angeles in a segment film in his own home. Regarding his continued growth as a professional actor, Trejo has remarked, I'm so blessed, I'm still scared that somebody's going to wake me up and say, hey, you're still in prison, let's go to chow. Many of Danny Trejo's characters in Robert Rodriguez film movies have been named after knives or sharp instruments such as Machete, uh, Razor Charlie, uh, and in several other films and Predators. He also played Machete in trailer for Rodriguez Films' collaboration with Quentin Tarantino Groundhouse. In 2010, he started a full theatrical release of Machete based on a character Machete and began in 2013 for the sequel film Machete Kills. In 2012, Danny Trail starred alongside Ron Perlman and Charles S. Dutton and Craig Moss in an action film. He played the main character of a Vietnam veteran in Frank Vega based on the 67-year-old epic Beard Man. And of course, in 2015, Trail appeared in television commercials for Snickers. He's uh, together with Shasta Gray. He was a lead actor in China Test Girls. And of course, he also appeared in Brooklyn Nine-Nine as a detective, Rosa Deesa's father. He has many voice acting roles for games. He made appearance in video game for Def Jam, Fight for New York, and of course in Grand Theft Auto, Vice City. And he's voiced uh, another character in Fallout um, New Vegas. Trail appeared in PlayStation Move game The Fight Lights Out as an instructor for the player's character. He's appeared as himself in second map pack installation for Call of Duty. His voice and appearance is in 2018 Gums of Boom, and you can see in the intro of Greg Hastings' Terminate 8 Ball Maxed. In 2019, he participated in promotions for Magic the Gathering Arena along Sean Plott. He starred in many music videos. And, of course, we know him particularly for the Slayer music videos. And, of course, he was a contributor to uh, Prison Ramen, which is a recipe and story from behind bars. In the comic series DMZ, he's a convicted felon named Denny, who resembles Trejo's appearance. In the 30th volume of Hiroya Oko's Gantz manga series, Ki Kirano fights a humanoid alien giant who has Danny Trail's appearance and likeness. The bout is on chapter 326 of the Gantz manga series. And of course, Trail has opened a series of successful Los Angeles restaurants. And of course, in January 2016, these included a taco restaurant, his own brand of beer, coffee, various merchandise, and of course, uh, followed by Trail's Cantina and Trail's Coffee and Donuts. Trejo owns a home in San Fernando Valley. He married Debbie Shreve, whom he filed for divorce in 2009. He has three children. Trejo witnessed a car colliding in 2019 at an intersection with an SUV and helped extract a five-year-old trap and a child safety seat inside the overturned SUV. Trejo was quoted as saying about the incident, Everything good that has happened to me has happened as a direct result of helping someone else everything. Of course, Trejo will go down in history as some of the great B-movie stars for heavies like Sid Haig and many others. And if you want to know more about Danny Trejo, you can watch him on Amazon Prime where you have thousands of movies and you click on the link below and get one month free. Thank you for watching, subscribing, liking, and sharing. Who's your daddy? Thank you.